السلام علیکم فرینڈس اینڈ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ آر یو ہوپ فلی آل آف یو آر فائن مائی نیم از انجینئر محمد وسیم اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم ریکارڈنگ دا لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی ون وچ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا سم ڈفرینٹ ٹاپک ایوری ڈے آئی برنگ ان فرنٹ آف یو اے ڈفرینٹ ٹاپک ناؤ بفور گوئنگ ٹو ورڈ دا ٹاپک اٹ از ریکویسٹڈ ٹو آل آف یو دیٹ کائنڈلی سبسکرائب مائی چینل انفو ٹیک سائنس اینڈ آلسو پریس دا بیل آئیکن سو دیٹ وین وی اپلوڈ اے نیو ویڈیو دا کمیونیکیشن بٹوین یو اینڈ می اسٹیبلش ناؤ moving toward the topic the topic is actually today is a phase error antenna which is look like as the phase error antenna is usually an electronically scanned array which is a computer controlled why it is a computer control i will tell you uh, further in the video in the computer control case this electronically uh, scanned antenna element creates a beam of the radio wave that can be electronically scared to the point in different direction without moving the antenna left or right up or down now basically the electronic beam that is created by this phase array antenna is electronically controlled through computer control because in the phase array antenna we have a phase shifter this phase shifter is actually change the direction of the electronic beam with the help of computer control device as you saw in my hand that this is actually the phase array antenna this antenna usually consists of different antenna element in my hand this is lambda by two phase array antenna with having a four different antenna elements it is look as this is the main thing this is the connector which is connected from that side and the feeding point is at the center of the point in my previous video i can tell you that when you connect the feed point at the center point it means that the input impedance is not a high however if we connect the connector from end side the input impedance should be high now in this antenna in this phase array antenna we have a four different antenna element where it is located suppose we have this is the antenna element number one this is antenna element number two this is antenna element number three this is antenna element number four all the four antenna elements are connected in the different ways now if you clearly saw that these are actually its configuration two lines are connected at this point one in opposite one in downward directions and two are connected from this position one in upward and one in downward direction as you saw in the diagram that i show before that this antenna is actually electronically steered in different direction which is totally dependent on the computer command that is given to the phase shifter now basically the current is feed at the center point we also have a antenna with a different size now this also is a phase array antenna with having the wavelength of a lambda by 4 you can say that when you move from lambda by 2 to lambda by 4 the length of the phase array antenna or whatever any type of the antenna the length should be reduced there is a also a mathematical calculation behind it but we cannot go in the mathematical calculation but i wanted to show you that how lambda by 2 antenna how lambda by 4 antenna look as when we move from wavelength from lambda by 2 to lambda by 4 the size of the antenna should be decreases now the main thing is that uh, why we use a different antenna element in the uh, phase array antenna or in any type of antenna guys main advantage and the main necessary thing to attach more antenna element in any antenna is in order to achieve our required gain which is the main purpose because we have to receive or uh, we have to attain a higher gain and the main question arises that why we use the phase array antenna actually this type of the antenna phase array antenna is invented or created you can say that specially used for the military purpose for the military radar because the phase array antenna as electronically steered with the help of phase shifter by using the computer control therefore 
it can be used in order to detect the missiles in order to detect the planes not for the military purpose but it also used for uh, you can say that for the commercial purpose because you have to know that how many planes are in, are entering in your boundary of any country and how many uh, aeroplanes are leaving uh, your area or you can say that in your country so usually the phase area antenna are uh, existed in the different you can say that uh, different types uh, one type is you can say that is a PISA PISA means that a uh, passive uh, electronically uh, scanned array other is a ESA which you can say that the active electronically uh, uh, scanned array and and the third one is usually named as a digital beam forming or you can say that DBA so it means that we have a three type of phase array PESA, ESA and a DBA are known as the digital beam forming in the today lecture I actually wanted to uh, share information and also share uh, physically how the phase array antenna look many of you did not watch or saw the phase array so this is actually the phase array antenna with having lambda by 4 length with 4 antenna elements these antenna elements are sometimes made up of a PCB sometimes it is made up of a uh, you can say that a copper rod or a stainless steel body for uh, in order to uh, produce the radiation or you can say that as a radiating element now this is the actually the lambda by 4 phase area antenna and this is the lambda by uh, you can say that lambda by 2 uh, lambda by 2 phase area antenna the two antennas usually show in front of you in order to show that what is the main difference for that the main difference is actually the reduce of the length which is totally dependent on the wavelength one is lambda by two other is lambda by four the function of the same uh, this is same it is specially used for the electronically uh, electronically scanned or beam steering now this is a lecture hopefully you can understand that and its application is for military purpose for microwave band for ultra high frequency hopefully in this video you can easily learn that how the phase array antenna looks why we design phase array antenna and uh, and uh, what are the main thing behind it hopefully uh, all of you understand what i have delivered uh, knowledge to you uh, at the end i say bye to you thank you for watching the whole video